In the second exercise, we'll be installing a bundle in your workspace. In this exercise, we'll be taking the following steps. We'll install a new bundle using LifeRay Workspace Wizard. We'll create a new LifeRay Workspace using Dev Studio, and then we'll install a bundle using Dev Studio and a Gradle task. So with that, we'll get into the exercise. So in this exercise, we'll be installing a bundle in your workspace. We'll have to launch Dev Studio if it's not already running. After you get it opened up, you'll create a new LifeRay workspace. So we'll go to File, put a new, and then we can find LifeRay workspace project. We'll click on that. And then we'll use new LifeRay workspace as the project name. And then we'll also check with the option to download LifeRay bundle. And then we'll click finish. So after the instance is created, we'll see this directory over here. We can actually expand it. We'll notice that we also have a bundles folder here. If you expand it, you'll notice that it is very similar to a typical LifeRay home. Also notice that in the servers pane down here, we have a reference to a server that's in a stopped state. Now we're going to create a new LifeRay workspace using Dev Studio. So we'll close Developer Studio. Then we'll actually have to we'll actually have to delete this LifeRay workspace. So I'm going to go ahead delete that. After that's done, we'll open up Dev Studio again. And we'll use the same workspace, we'll launch this. And from here, we're going to click New LifeRay Workspace. For this one, we're going to type in Gradebook Workspace. And we are not going to download the LifeRay bundle here. Click Finish to complete the setup. If we open up our Gradebook workspace, we'll see that there is no bundles directory in our project. So in the next section, we'll add it using a Gradle task. So in the Gradle task on the right side, we'll expand Gradebook workspace. And then we'll expand the bundle task, and then we'll double click init bundle so that we can run this task. So if this is your first time running the task, it might need a few minutes because it needs to download the bundle from the reference URL. Subsequent runs though, with the same version, will omit the download and simply unpack the archive. So after it's finished downloading in the console, I see the build is successful. So I can refresh by right clicking on the left hand tab. And then we'll delete this new life rate, but we see a bundles folder, meaning that this Gradle task added and initialized our bundles. Thank you.